Hi, y'all. So, Sherry convinced me to go ahead and make this video tonight. <laughs> I haven't uh, I haven't even talked to her in a week, but um, I did call her. We've just been playing tag. Um, she's going to put out a video about... It's wedding related. Uh, that's all I'm going to say. And because she felt the unction to put it out and just talking to her. Like I said, I hadn't talked to her in probably over a week or so. And just the dream that I had in the video that she felt led to put out goes hand in hand because that's my twin. Even though we hadn't talked, I was just kind of blown away. Okay? So maybe she'll mention that part. I forgot to tell her that she could go ahead and share my dream, okay? Um, a dream about a, a wedding, me being in a wedding gown, you guys, we're going home. Let's just say that. We're going home, okay? Next, I know the last thing that I mentioned in my last video was about the baby Amelia dream. Um, the industrious... Uh, It was basically a warning about genetic um, testing, any type of, uh, and it, the meaning of the dream, the meaning of the name was, means industrious, um, it has Sophia in it, that the meaning of the name, um, anyway, I had a whole list of stuff that, the Lord had been giving me revelation of. I cannot find it. It's okay. It's a warning, a warning, warning. I've had so many confirmations of that dream. And then I just can't talk about it. Some little bits and pieces of it remind me of a baby that you see in the picture. I had my baby, um, just the opposite. I, I don't know if they say just the opposite, but... The dream was more of a warning, but there were little bits and pieces of truth in it as it relates to my having her early, okay? Um, but like I said, the most important thing was a major warning about uh, what you have done as far as genetic testing and all other types of procedures. can't say all, but a few other procedure procedures. Um, and pieces of it, you know, I talked about that came to pass directly after the dream. But I can't. I can't get into all that tonight. Okay, you guys? Especially because I don't find I can't find the paper that I had written down. Um I had baby early, you guys. She came probably a couple days after my last video. Because I like I said, I was just mentioning that. Um, you guys, it has been, I went for a normal, this is going to be a long story short. I went for a normal checkup at my doctor, um, and ended up having an emergency C-section. I went from my doctor to the high-risk doctor, which I had been basically released from. Um, and then right next door to the hospital. And I felt like I was a guinea pig because they underestimated the risk. Um, I don't know if that's the word, you guys. They basically thought that she was smaller than what she was showing up on her ultrasound to be. Um, there was an issue where they thought that maybe she was getting a little bit less oxygen than she should. Um, my blood pressure was normal that day, leaving my doctor. And we discussed this when I saw her for a two-week follow-up um, on Monday. She said, I don't know what happened. And I said, I felt like I was bamboozled into having my baby early. Um, like I said, there was some... <sighs> some concerning uh they, they basically felt like maybe she was getting a little bit less oxygen and 
you know, the cord could have been tied. Um, I, I did have high blood pressure, but it was controlled. Um, like I said, my blood pressure was normal that day, um, maybe from being at the doctor from 8 o'clock at night and then 12 hours later, having her make my blood pressure go high, um, having not eaten or anything. Um, they thought she was one, going to be 1, point, 1 pound 3 ounces. She was 1 pound 7 ounces. I had an emergency C-section. Um, she's fine. Um, of course, her lungs are a little bit underdeveloped. She can actually breathe on her own, but they're weaning her off of oxygen, basically. Sometimes she forgets to breathe. <laughs> she has ap a little bit of apnea, which is, which is really um, quite normal for her age. And... Um, She's actually gaining now um, about an ounce a day. And um, her feed, this is what I was looking for. Pilot injured in sled helicopter crash. You guys, I have videos to do about um, the helicopter warning I put out and also the Uber dream, uh, Uber warning dream that I put out. Sorry. So, um... She's in NICU, you guys. She's, with those two things, basically being, you know, that she has those milestones she needs to hit as far as weight gain and making sure that she can be breathing her own before she comes home. These things are minor compared to the babies that I see in NICU. And every day I go in there to visit, I go visit her five to six days a week. Um, if I'm, you know, if I have, if I'm able to. But she is feisty. <laughs> Everybody says, the nurses. And uh, she's a fighter. She's a real good baby. But the baby, my, my baby's a real good baby. But the other babies, you guys, is so heartbreaking. You have eight pound babies and 10 pound babies in there. They've been in there since they were born with health issues that are unimaginable. And the Lord has shown me that she's gonna be okay. Um, at one point I thought that maybe uh, that meant that she was gonna be okay on the other side. There was some, some dreams that I had of her. Um, of course, being healthy and just the timing of it all just uh, made me concerned. Um, it, of course, before I even knew she, I was going to have her early. But so far, so good. Um, it's just been a nightmare as far as me dealing with people. The hospital staff, uh, I cannot tell you guys... Um, some of the things that went on while I was in the hospital. I actually discharged myself early. <laughs> I took out all my IVs and I went home early. Um, I will say that my baby's in the best hospital in the region as far as NICU care, but they could not care for me. They have been itching for a lawsuit from the day that I had her. That's a very long story short. Um, I've had so much opposition uh, probably the most opposition I've had in a very long time, um, if ever, dealing with her. And I'm trying to be, I'm trying to rest. I am, I've been gone up and on my feet since the day I discharged myself or asked to be discharged early. So thank God for that. Um, I'm doing okay. My, my doctor, like I said, I had a two week checkup. I'll go back in four more weeks. Um, uh, you guys, I had pink eye last week. Um, they messed up her birth certificate. They messed up her social security card. Um, they had her as a boy in NICU when I went back to visit, you know, after finally getting over the pink eye. Um, well, actually, after I five days after I discharged myself, that's what it was. They had her as a boy in the NICU, baby boy. <laughs> Um, I don't know what else to tell you guys. It's just been so much, okay? So, pray for her. Um, I can say on the upside, 
there have been some amazing people that have reached out to me to help support me. Um, even yesterday, as far as opposition, my job had me terminated when I'm actually on maternity leave, which is actually against the law. So I had to deal with that also. Um, I just, uh, I can't, it's just been a whole bunch of stuff and it's been tiring. Um, but like I said, on the, on the flip side, I've had a whole bunch of support. I've had people that I never knew were paying attention or, uh, just people who I never would think that would reach out to me to say, hey, I've got something for you. A, a pack of t-shirts or a pack of onesies or a pack of diapers or just amazing support from people who I would have never, ever. So I thank God for that. Um, only by his grace is that happening because I would have never, unimaginable. Um, nurses, staff, believing Believers in Jesus Christ. My daughter has uh, believers in Jesus Christ taking care of her. Um, people praying for her that I never, uh, just, I never would have thought or I never would have, uh, people who I didn't even solicit prayers from. Okay? Just, that's, that's giving me the hope and the faith and the just to get just the grace and the just the grace and the support from believers that I don't in the body that I never thought I was even on their radar or just people who I've crossed their paths or like I said hospital staff it takes a special kind of person to work in the NICU because every time I walk in there, it breaks my heart. But I go in there and I pray every day, okay? It, let's just say, not lie, 90% of the time that I've been in there, I've been praying for them babies or before I left my house or while I'm in there. And I'm definitely laying hands on my baby and speaking and praying over her, okay? So, I, I've been blessed to say that. I have been blessed. I can say that. And there's only uh, God put those people in place. Okay? Because I would have never, ever, ever thought that I would have the support. And I'm not talking about monetary or uh, baby gifts. I'm not just talking about that. I'm talking about the prayers of the righteous and the support of the body of Christ coming together on little old me behalf and in the, in the behalf of my baby. Okay? Um, like I said, you guys, I have other updates to do. I just want to let you guys know I have the baby. I got a million things in my mind. I have a million notes in my phone. Um, but I didn't want y'all to think that I just, um, dropped off the face of the earth or went home to glory. <laughs> I totally plan on going in the rapture with everybody else. Okay. Um, I plan on being here. That's it. Oh, and also my son started a job too. He started his first job last year. I mean, last week. He's 16 and he's making big money for 16, okay? A lot going on. Okay, you guys, just want to let you guys know. So I haven't checked comments. I haven't been on YouTube, but I did get some. My bestie sent me her AirPods, uh, her second um, spare AirPods. So now I can listen to videos and and um, I haven't had a headphone set in months so that was uh, uh that made a uh, world of difference i usually put in and go so that helps too <sighs> i think that's it like i said i have videos to do um i wanted to see the nose before i make uh the helicopter video update and ideally want to do the amelia dream baby fast growing baby update and also the uber driver update Okay, you guys, I've heard Cherry's filled me in on a lot of things, and we're going home. That's another thing. I actually prayed about that. I said, Lord, I know we're going home. So continue to look up, because that's where our hope is coming. 
from uh, we're going home. Surely we're going home. Okay? That gives me um, a peace. A peace that we're just not going to be here very much longer. Okay, you guys? God bless y'all. Good night. 15 minutes.